Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bing, I'm a photo and video maker. And this is my video making CO team. No, 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 not this kind of CO team. This kind of CO team. I have a question for you. For under $1,000, what camera you can buy that can shoot 4K at 60 frames per second? Well, you get an answer. How about waterproof? Can it fly? Can it shoot three angles simultaneously? Okay, just kidding. There's no such a thing. But for under $1,000, you can buy them three. An army. A special army for video making. I know, nowadays people are chasing bigger sensor size camera. I was there too. Even now, when I heard about the A7S III came out, I still desire to have one. But, but, do I really need one? 4K at 120 frames per second, super low light capability, great autofocus? No. Currently, I'm shooting with the BMPCC 4K for my Bose commercial project and uh, personal styles. I'm happy with it. My clients are happy. So yeah, the A7S III is a dreamlike camera, but it's not everyone needed. Instead of a fancy camera, do you know what we really need the most? The passion for creation. Canon always mentioned about, at least in their Chinese version website, they always talking about their product brings you the passion for creation. And this is something that really important and we don't even notice about. I assume you are a photo or video person, you have a camera. So how long have you not been taking photos or videos outside? Enjoy some creative moment? I don't know about you, but for me it's been a while and it really makes me uncomfortable. But the DJI product changed this, my army I'm talking about. The Pocket 2 is the first DJI product I get and I immediately started shooting with it once I get it. Very happy with it. Then is the Mini 2. Then it's the Osmo Action. I was waiting for the Osmo Action 2, but later I realized the second generation is not going to be released very soon. So yeah, here it is. Compared to the BMCCC 4K, they are lightweight, easy to use, and just so much fun to use. And most importantly, they made me really want to go out and start shooting. Sure, they're bad at low light and background blur, but the 4K image from them is so crispy and clear. Unlike some smartphones tend to over denoise and over sharpen the image, the DJI product tends to do less to the image, which makes the image more cinematic. Not even to mention about the B-Cine-like flat color profile. And actually the Pocket 2 is quite good at low light. When you get close enough, you can get some decent background blur which is very lovely. Even the smaller sensor from Osmo Action and the Mini 2, they show a fine grain noise under the low light condition. Instead of some mushy and over blended image from other devices like your smartphone. I was thinking to show you a short movie that I made with M3, but due to the bad weather here, the short movie turned out very ugly. So I'm just going to show you some random footage from them. But I'll put the link of the ugly short film anyways here somewhere. Check it out if you want.
I don't know about you, but I'm so impressed by the footage from them. You know, there are people are talking about motion blur, 180 degree laws, color signs, shallow depth of field, etc. etc. They can talk about this all day long, but they barely shoot something. So stop observing with those video making series and go make some videos. If you want to get the same special army, the SEAL team as mine, definitely go check out my recent videos. From there, you can learn more pros and cons about them. And yeah, that's the video for today. If you like this video, how about give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. No, for my job, I'm... Uh, I'm currently shooting with a Blackmagic Design Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. <sighs> well, let's call it, well, let's call it BMPC 4K. So currently I'm shooting, uh, so currently I'm shooting with a uh,